Okay, so I know it's very rare for me to do book reviews on my YouTube channel, but I thought I'd do another one because recently I bought a book at a Goodwill store that you know I had never heard of before, and I thought it would be very interesting to read some, a fantasy novel that I've never heard of before. I was thinking, well, maybe this fantasy novel will be something that will be a great read and it that book is the Dragonstone by Dennis L McKiernan and first off let me just say if you haven't heard of this book before you're not missing out on much I mean it's one of those fantasy novels where it starts out with uh, it was a dark and stormy night beginning well maybe not in those words but you know very similar to it but basically the story is about an elvish woman named Aaron, who basically receives a prophecy, a read, if you might add, or I guess you could say, where basically he, she's, it's up to her to find the dragon stone before an evil wizard does to use it to destroy the whole world. And this read that she receives is basically certain things that she needs in order to fulfill her quest, which basically some examples would be a cat that fell from grace or a ferret in a cage and all these things in the read are basically allies that she has to recruit for her quest and let me just say that as you read this book you know it's kind of like Dennis L. McKiernan is trying to tell a story that's basically a mashup of Dungeons and Dragons and Lord of the Rings and to be honest, it's not really that good of a job that he does because there it's just filled with so many cliches and you know it's not it's not really too exciting. I mean, there are some good battles in you know in certain parts of the novel, but you know, overall it just doesn't have a whole lot of action that I was expecting it to have. And and one of the questions that the characters talk about is, you know, do we have free will or is everything predetermined? You know, and it's a question that doesn't really get answered between the characters. You know, some some of the characters believe in free will, others believe that everything is preordained. But personally, yeah, personally, I believe that we do have free will. We have the ability to choose for ourselves and yeah and basically the ending to this book you know I felt that it was very rushed you know it could have because when it came down to the final battle I thought I was expecting like the evil wizard or Droon to you know pull out all the stops you know cast all kinds of crazy spells but no all the final battle is, you know, spoiler alert, basically one of Aaron's allies coming out of nowhere, tackling Ordrune off a cliff with him, you know, and both people falling to their dooms. And I was like, are you kidding me? That was the final battle. It's just, it, yeah, the final battle was so anticlimactic. It's just unbelievable. It's just... So, if I were to rate this novel, I would, you know, basically I would rate it like Jeremy Johns rates some of his movies. Basically, I would say, after reading this, you're not going to remember it in T-1 day. So, if, I mean, if you're, a, if you're an extremely die-hard fantasy novel reader who doesn't really care about there not being too much action in it, you know, and point, basically all kinds of over descriptive if details in it then by all means go ahead and read it but if you're looking for something that's unique and something that's going to blow your mind away then I would recommend you pass on this story so that's my review for the Dragonstone you know thank you very much for listening to this review and I will talk to you later